Professor Rob Gupta is a senior fellow at the Institute of China-America Studies and joins me now from Washington, D.C. Uh, Saurabh, what contributions do you think would this new U.S.-Taiwan initiative actually make? Or do you think this is more about the U.S.'s growing support of Taiwan while ma it maintains this policy of strategic ambiguity? No, I think this economic initiative, that the, the bilateral economic initiative is an important one. Remember when Mr. Biden was in Asia, he launched the Indo-Pacific Economic Framework with 13 Asian countries. Taiwan could not be part of that simply because I think there were some other countries in Asia which did not want a country which is not a state participating in the framework. So what instead the Americans did was do they have a parallel framework which tracks the Indo-Pacific Economic Framework with Taipei. And therefore, I think there will be very important developments in the economic cooperation relationship, particularly on technology supply chains uh, with regard to Taiwan. You know, the threat of a Chinese invasion has pretty much always loomed over the people of Taiwan. But given the increase we've seen recently in Chinese warplanes flying into Taiwan's air defense zone, does it seem like, like China is preparing for an attack to finally seize the island? No, I don't think so. I don't think China is anywhere close to being able to do that. Uh, it's You can attack the island. Remember, Xi Jinping doesn't have the luxury of Vladimir Putin of trying to invade and conquer a country and then retreating by, by occupying just part of the country. If Xi Jinping goes and attacks Taiwan, either he swallows Taiwan whole or he gets swallowed by history. It's not easy to make these attacks across water areas. You know, Russia is having trouble fording just plain rivers. There's 100 kilometers of a strait between the two countries. And, and China understands and knows that this is very difficult. And therefore, at this point of time, it is trying to enlarge the anti-access area denial bubble that around Taiwan so that when it does, if it does attack, whenever that is, and I don't think it's going to be in the 2020s, it will be later than that, it can ensure that the Americans are deterred from, from trying to come to Taiwan's support. But this is a day far out in the future. Uh, you know, we've seen uh, fairly limited involvement with between the U.S. and uh, Western countries when it comes to the conflict in Ukraine, sending military support and other aid, um, for instance, but not getting involved militarily. When we did hear the U.S. president uh, say that if China were to attack Taiwan, that you, the U.S. would um, support Taiwan militarily. Of course, the, the White House did backtrack on those comments. But do you think that it would be a different situation if that were to happen, that we would see the U.S. become more involved in the theoretical um, invasion of China, of, of Taiwan? Well, I, I absolutely think that is going to be uh, a practicality. Uh, it, it depends if the Taiwanese are not wise enough and go ahead or, and go off the charts and declare independence and, and anger anybody in the re region. But saving that situation, the U.S. will come to, to Taiwan's defense. The reasons are, uh, there are a number of reasons. Uh, Taiwan, there are 30 million people on Taiwan. Taiwan Straits, the U United States likes its maritime hegemony. Uh, freedom of navigation is an important criteria for the Americans. And Taiwan is that one place where this maritime hegemony or maritime dominance and, 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 and a de facto alliance obligation kick in. So if the United States were not to, to show its ready, readiness to defend Taiwan, I think the United States forward deployed position and posture in Asia would be, would be severely compromised for, for, for the future. So the United States doesn't have the luxury of dilly-dallying on this situation. It is as much a, 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 a challenge to the U.S. as it is to China, too. All right. We'll leave it there. Saurabh Gupta joining us from Washington, D.C. Thank you for your time and your insight into this. You're welcome.